All right, Joe Schmidt, live from Fort Myers, Florida, where Twins players and fans are out enjoying uh, some nice weather, we assume, at spring training. Yeah, how's it going down there, Joe? Oh, my gosh, look how sunny and lovely it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day down here. Yeah, it's actually a little bit cool. I got to admit, at night it gets a little bit cool down here, but but uh, but I'm not complaining. You know, the Twins uh, were able to get some work in yesterday. It was kind of their first full day workout because uh, it rained on Monday, so they did everything inside. But you know what? I've been down here, you know, for over 35, 40 years now, <laughs> and it doesn't get old. It's still fun. Uh, the green grass, the crack of the bat, the smell of everything, it's, it's all the same. There this year, like as you're watching the team, and granted, it's only been a day or so that you've seen them with the rain out on Monday, but who are you, who are you liking? Who should we be keeping an eye on? Well, I think the the guy that I, I am really interested to watch progress is Royce Lewis. Yeah. And uh, yesterday I made the bold uh, talk and said he reminds me a little bit of Kirby. And, and, and here's why. He's got a big personality. And on top of that, he loves he loves the limelight and he loves to be in those pressure situations. He hit five grand slams in 66 games last year in the playoffs. He hit four home runs. Now, that was puck, you know, when the when the. The light was shining the brightest, you know, he kind of calmed down and he'd come up with a big hit. And you put that with that big personality, big smiling face, uh, and uh, he's got a little bit of that. So he's only 24 years old and he has superstar written all over him. Uh, kind of like Egger did years ago. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly like that, Joe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> two prospects. One is doing well, one is not. Uh, so tell us about the new, we got a new pitcher. You said he's going to be fifth in the rotation. I was trying to learn how to say his name this morning, and I'm not quite getting it yet. Uh, tell us about him. Uh, yeah, Dee Sclafani and uh, Anthony, and we talked to him this morning, and yeah, he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty excited about this opportunity. He's the kind of guy that three four years ago was a pretty good pitcher, and then he has had a series of injuries, an elbow, and then of all things, an ankle. But he said he is healthy. The Twins obviously saw something in him that they. Pencil him in as a fifth man in the rotation. You know, is he going to be a savior? Is he going to be Sonny Gray? No. But I think they're hoping he gets some innings. The Twins really beefed up their bullpen this year. This is now a bullpen game. You only have Pablo Lopez and Joe Ryan and maybe Bailey Ober who can pitch past five, six innings into a game. The other pitchers, they just have to get the five innings and then the bullpen takes over. And I think that's one reason the Twins beefed up their bullpen this year. Joe, the Twins had a really good season last year, and I'm kind of curious if, you know, going into spring training, the vibe is any different when you have a season like you had last year. Is there more energy with the team, or does it kind of feel like other spring trainings where maybe they didn't come off a great season? That's a really good question, uh, Megan. You know, your cohort there can't come up with insightful questions like that, <laughs> so your baseball knowledge comes through. Um, you know, it is different. And, and here's what's different. What's different is they got over the hump in the playoffs and they realized they're not that far away. You know, when you take a look, they they almost beat Houston. They had gave Houston a pretty good run. If they had been a little healthier, maybe played a little bit smarter, they would have they would have taken care of Houston. And then and then you kind of look, take a step back and realize the three best, most talented players the Twins have on the roster were either hurt or playing hurt last year. Byron Buxton didn't play at all in center field. Carlos Correa had his worst year of his career because he was battling plantar fasciitis. And then you have Royce Lewis who only played 50 some games. So all of a sudden, if you put all those guys healthy together this is going to be a pretty good lineup speaking of good lineup uh, come on come on in here we got uh, I got my cameraman reporter coiker Alex Osmus here he is Alec rather he is from Hinkley he's the pride of Hinkley Minnesota <laughs> and uh, and he's being tortured by having to spend all this time down there with you Joe how's how's he holding up yeah, we're we're rooming together. We rented a VRBO. It was supposed to be two bedrooms, but it has a cot we've been sharing. <laughs> Alec, Alec, what's this experience been like? Uh, this experience has been awesome. This is only my second uh, spring training down here, but when Joe was talking about Royce Lewis a little bit ago, we uh, yesterday were right behind the batting cage when Royce Lewis got to take some uh, some cuts, which was happening right over here. And it was so loud coming up the ball coming off his bat. I even said to Joe while I was getting video of it, I'm like, Joe, it just sounds different. Uh, so Royce Lewis, I think, is just going to be a superstar. That was really cool uh, to be feet away from Royce as he was, 
hitting home runs basically at batting practice. Yeah, and you know, and that reminds me once again a little bit of Kirby because when uh, Kirby was in the batting cage back in the day, you, you just go watch. You just go watch. But here's something that's a little bit different with batting practice. They don't take as much batting practice as they used to. They go underneath in the cages because they have machines set up for sliders. They mm -hmm. have machines set up for 100 mile an hour pitches. They have machines set up for breaking balls away. So these guys can literally go and take 50 swings on their the thing they're working on. Yeah. Now they still do a little batting practice, but some too many times batting practice becomes a home run derby. <laughs> Joe, have you had a chance to talk to any fans? I, I know that people have been grumbling that um, there haven't been any big personnel moves that have been made with the Twins after coming off such a great year. And I think there are some people who are really hoping there'd be some s splashy player brought on the team. Well, i, I got to be honest with you. Almost every fan I've talked to asked me the same question. Where can I get that book that you wrote about Joe Mauer, that children's book, The Right Thing to Do? And I tell them, well, it's down in the gift shop right down here, or you can go to joemauerbook.com because that's the kind of public service that I offer. Can I do a plug? Did I just get charged 30 seconds? You're not commercial? answering my question at all about. No. no, okay. Got hey, it. how's Rocco Baldelli? Okay, no. Rocco. Sixth year manager, cool, calm, and collected. You know, and I, I asked him yesterday, I said, what has changed in the six years? And he said, you know, he, he's as relaxed as he's always been. And the big difference, quite frankly, is when he's done with the day, he goes home and he has three kids under uh -huh. five years old that he has to deal with. So, so that's changed a little bit. But he's right there. He's, he's on the field right there. Yeah, he's just hanging out. Yeah. And then you've seen Rocco too uh, Alec I mean he's just uh, he's the same guy and I think what he is is he really makes sure everybody feels comfortable it's a really pretty big word down here yeah and I think what's really cool about spring training is we aren't best buds with any of these people but you do get to any of these players but you do get to develop relationships and, and we even get to talk to Rocco on camera off camera he'll he'll make little side jokes to you ask you how your day is going and you get that with the players as well uh, regular season it's kind of strictly business but uh, down here in spring training a little more laid back as you might expect we're in the sunshine it's baseball things are ramping up but even yesterday just you get to say hi to Rocco multiple times walking up and down the stadium here and you don't really get that during the regular season a lot Alex, no, do you it's, ever, like... it's 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 a little go ahead Joe what's that well, I just was wondering, Alec, if you, nothing. like, pinch yourself, if you're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that I get to do this for work. Uh, absolutely. And to come down here to Florida and do it, and last year, just what remembering the when they beat Toronto in the playoffs, before that, I was in, like, sixth grade, 2004, roughly, the last time the Twins, you know, they won the playoff game, won a playoff series, things like that. So that was cool just to see that last year and to come back down here in the spring and ask these guys about that and what the momentum's like, and they're jacked up about it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying not to be a huge fan down here. We're down here for work, strictly business yeah. for uh, for Joe and I, yes. obviously. Yes, work only. It, it is, it <laughs> is. And as a matter of fact, I got to work right now and find my sunscreen because <laughs> it's in my bag somewhere. It's deep in the recesses of my bag. I can't find it. <laughs> Joe, Alec, thank you guys. Hopefully we can check in with you again later this week. Have fun down there. Don't work too hard. Yeah, we are happy to help the ratings on Minnesota Live anytime you need us. Just let us know. We appreciate you. We'll have much more from Joe and Alec on 5 Eyewitness News today and tomorrow.